What's up everybody, I'm back with some Ultimate Team gameplay. And in this particular game, I'm not really going to talk about the game, I'm going to talk to you guys. I got a story to tell. So you guys already know how I do this. I jump back and forth between commentary and whatever else it is that I want to talk about. So, with that being said, by the way, who was that last night stream? Oh my goodness. I, I've been told the stories because I was a little... I was a little tipsy. I wasn't drunk. I was fully capable and aware of what I was doing, but it did get a bit out of hand. <laughs> uh, so this is my first real video after the stream. I did a video before this of a pack opening, but that was before the stream. This is after the stream, and if you missed that stream, look at your ball, Charles. Get loose, Hawks. Oh, look at the ooh, look at the wiggling on him. All right. But uh, if you missed that stream, I feel bad for you. Um, what you can do is go back on Twitch and check out the archives. It, I, I say this. Look at Jamal Charles get busy, though. I'll say this. If you listen to that stream, you are horrible user right there. You are definitely going to want to listen to that with headphones on. And preferably, with, if you're younger, you don't want to hear that with your parents around. It got a little bit X-rated. That's all I'm going to say about last night's stream. <laughs> but, um, yeah, I got a story to tell, and it's not about the stream. I have a question that I'm going to ask you guys, and I'm going to tell my story around it. I was talking about it on Twitter a couple of days ago, and I figured this would be a good time to do a topic video. I don't really do topic videos, so this is a good time to do it. Look at DeMarco Murray pointing out blockers. I don't see anybody on his screen until now. Yeah. I need to, I need to find a better camera angle. I really do. But you know we're going to get into the end zone on this next, well, all right, not on this next play. But Jared Cook always finds a way into that zone. He always finds it in the zone, but now he's hurt. So we're going to run bench and look at Megatron go up and get it. Touchdown. All right, so here's what I wanted to talk about. But before I do, how many of you guys are enjoying the Colts franchise series? I know that there's some people that are complaining, like, I, I guess anytime you do something different, you know, people are just going to come into there and just start going off. Look at that hit laid on by Antoine Bethea. But, yeah, people just, uh, there, there's some people in there bitching and moaning. I'm going to, look at that pick. Got him, coach. Rod Woodson, I'm telling you. Rod Woodson has just been a boss for my team since I got him. A boss. Jesus, so I got to continuously think. Jay Katz for that as he picks me right back off. God damn it, I'm not talking about what I wanted to talk about. So yeah, um, I do want to say, if I'm coming off harsh in the comment section, he got a Jamal Charles too. If I'm coming off harsh in the comment section, you guys got to pardon me. Um, I really don't have anybody backing me up on, on, the, on the comment section, so I'm just going in there and I'm throwing haymakers. I'm swinging at everybody left and right. Uh, and look at Woodson go. He don't want that man to get no touchdowns. None. Zero. Zilch. You're not going to score on me, buddy. Rod Woodson is ridiculous. Absolutely ridiculous. Taking that man touchdown like that. Jesus. All right. So let me back to what I'm saying. So, yeah. Um, I really, and I'm, and I'm thinking about, it, it's causing me, and I said this uh, during Madden 13, it's causing me to, like, not want to read comments because when I see comments like that, I know that, like, a bad wiser can come out. And I don't want that because I'll start losing viewers. So I got a choice. I'll either do that and lose viewers or I'll just go in there or I'll just like not read comments. One of the two. I don't know which one it is, but one of the two is going to happen. And I don't know. Maybe you guys need to back me up. Like, where's the wiser family? People used to like rip off throats anytime that happened. And this is how this guy scores his touchdown. You piece of shit. F this. So let me get to the topic I wanted to talk to you guys about. So yeah, that's that's basically me saying help me out in the Colts franchise comment section because if you guys leave it to me, I'll be cussing people out and people just gonna stop watching. <laughs> all right, look at you. Oh, wiggling on them. All right, all right. I got about three more minutes. I gotta knock this out. Two more minutes. So I have a question for you guys. Um, in your days of playing football, I don't know what level of football you're playing now or what level, what's your highest level of football, but my question is, have you ever played against a team that had a girl on it? 
I played against a team that had a girl on it one year, and that was when I was in the sixth grade. And it was my first year playing football. We were going up against Nutley. Nutley is in North Jersey. And I heard war stories about this girl because she was playing for a couple of years before I even got, before my first year. My first year of football was when I was 11. Damn, game over? All right, it must be some stats or something after. That's cool. So, yeah, my, it was my first year. I think it might have been her third year. So I'm like, all right, it's a girl, probably some little girl, no big deal. We'll just, we'll just bang out. We'll, we'll, you know, no problem. So we go to play Nutley, and I see this girl, and I'm like, Jesus, was it Nutley? It had to be Nutley. Yeah, it was Nutley. And I'm like, Jesus, this girl is huge. How the f did she make weight? Now, my first year, I didn't play offense. I only played defense. They didn't know how spectacular I was yet until the following year. So I see this girl and I'm like, yo, she's huge. Now, I was one of the biggest kids on the team um, in height. I was skinny, but in height, I was one of the biggest. I look at her and she's a giant, like she's taller than me and she's thick and she was the running back. She was legit the running back. She was icebox. So the war stories I heard about this girl is that she just couldn't be stopped. But the thing is, my coach, I had one of them crazy coaches that, that had earplugs for that. He wanted us to knock her the fuck out. He didn't give a damn if it was a girl. You step on the football field, you a grown man now. So we're playing them in the playoff game. And this is this is like my story. Uh, this is like our third time playing them this season. And we're playing them in the playoff game. And I'm going, she's running, I think, a sweep. We get, I get past her blocker. One of our guys took out her blocker. I played defensive end uh, my first year because I was quick off the edge. Uh, so somebody shed the fullback, and it was just me and her just ready to collide. I come around that edge. I see her. I said, oh, coach is going to love me because I was definitely top two hardest hitters on the team. I can't say the hardest hitter because there was one dude that was a fucking animal. I seen her and I really, really try to take her soul out of her chest. Like, I OD'd. I completely od But here's the kicker. I hit her so hard that I think I caught a concussion. She was done. She ain't want to run the ball no more. She was done for the rest of the game. I mean, she stayed in the game. But she was down for a minute, and anytime she touched that ball, she was running soft from there on. But me, I felt this though, I ran into a brick wall. I don't know this girl's name. She looked like a boy. I have no idea who she is. I never seen her again. We left that division, we never played Nutley again. But Jesus Christ, that girl was a beast. So if you played against a girl at any level, let me know what position uh, what grade you were in because I've heard you, some of you guys answers on Twitter and a lot of you guys say that yeah, yeah I played against a girl and about 90% of y'all said that she was probably one of the best ones on the team and that was the case for me so uh, that's all I got for you guys today I'm probably in overtime of this video showing like a clip of stuff for you to click on so uh, you guys go on ahead and do that I'm gonna go on ahead and work on the next video I am out that's right, you're getting three videos today from me. Peace.